Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Now to do just my little mini review for Back to the Future 3. Now this is a little teaser for my big Back to the Future Verse video that's coming up. So I want to tell you my thoughts on the on the third film. So I like the fact that the, the, the third film actually ends off with this on the second film. I mean that's literally the same ending of every film from Back to the Future. The second film ends first begins off with the ending of the first film. The third film begins off with the ending of the second film. I mean yeah, it's really cool. The second film has one of the greatest cliffhanger endings of all time. Same with uh, Infinity War, which is one of my favorite films of all time, too. Yeah, this film is also really good. I like the whole Wild West aspect. And it's not as to, like, say, tone, um, has issue with tones like the second film. I mean, literally, the, the whole film takes place in the Wild West, except for the beginning and end of the film. The first time I watched it, I thought it was really boring. I was about to sleep throughout the entire film. I could uh, clear... Clearly, I care less about the characters, except for Marty and Doc, yeah. Yeah, I was not really keen on the romance the first time I watched this film, but after I rewatched it again this week, I kind of had fun with it a lot more than I originally did. Yeah, this is a really fun film that that, that just should be loved more than I already did. There's some really cool action in this film, like the, the, climax, the climax scene where, where Marty fakes, uh, faces off against Mad Dog. And um, uh, there's some nice references to Back to the Future too, like the whole paper scene. Um, no, like like the whole like say, like there's actually one scene where, where Marty tells Doc about where's about them, um, what happened to Jennifer, and it's, uh, Doc's kind of like, Marty, I'm not relax, uh, uh, Jennifer will be fine, yeah. Which pays off at the end of the film, which is a uh, which is actually a really good callback. And I do like. And there's one thing I don't like about this film, and yeah, I think it's like the obvious, but I, it's kind of similar to the first film. First, uh, you have a character being transported to the past. Yes, that's Marty Fly, thanks to Doc Brown. And next, and next they meet up with a bad guy, Biff Tan, and some ancestor, Mad Dog. And next they meet up, M Marty gets uh, gets knocked out, and next season now in a dream in probably his ancestor or probably his mother's house. Yeah, which is actually in the film. And next, yeah, he meets up with Doc Brown. Check. And next, and next, the two of them team up. Check. And next, it's up for them to go to the future. Check. I mean, it's literally the same thing. Except it's in a Wild West and we have different characters doing it. But this movie does it in a better way than other uh, rehashed films. Yeah, there's a lot of great action in this film, like I always say. Is that the climax? There's also some really good action, like the, in like the Indian action scene in the beginning. And... And there's some really dark stuff in this film, like the fact that uh, Doc Brown actually dies in this film, but I'm a, but actually he he's alive. Yeah, I'm a, that was a really dark stuff. And there's some really gonna, cool dialogue with the characters and some funny scenes. And the whole running gag on the whole like say manure thing returns from back returns back in this film, which is actually kind of cool. Yeah, the main run gags for those three films are. Is Biff or probably his ancestor get the See you next time. Bye.